decency, kindness, charity, selflessness, and sacrifice, they're all right there. These are the values our PragerU presenter thinks children will learn from reading the Bible. I'm wondering if our friend Johnny has done some kind of Jefferson Bible type thing where instead of cutting out all the supernatural stuff, he cut out all the stuff that runs contrary to these values. Are children supposed to learn decency by reading about the killing of the firstborns in Egypt? Will they learn kindness in the story of the flood? Will kids learn charity by reading about a god who turns a woman into a pillar of salt because she turned around to look at something? Will our children learn selflessness from the genocidal land grab of the Israelites, a genocide ordered by God? Will they be comforted to know that God's idea of sacrifice means the literal sacrifice of his only begotten son instead of simply forgiving the failures of a species he supposedly created? Talk about your planned obsolescence. Johnny goes on to talk about the story of David and Goliath and the lessons kids can learn from that tall tale. Pun intended. David refuses to be intimidated by a bully. Is Johnny talking about those of us who refuse to be intimidated by a bully who threatens to torture everyone for all eternity unless we bend the knee to him? Because you really don't need the Bible for that. I'd recommend the, uh, oh, what is it called? What is it called? Got it the Mr. Deity channel right here on YouTube. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's where I am right now. How silly of me. Who wants to go against a giant like that? Johnny then presents us with the story of Cain and Abel, where the jealous Cain kills his own brother, Abel. Such a sweet story for children when you really think about it. When God asks Cain, where is Abel, your brother? Cain lies and says, I do not know. And then, am I my brother's keeper? Yes, should have been Cain's answer to his own question. Oh, that's awesome. So instead of thinking of others as people who should just take care of themselves and referring to them as the takers, our kids will learn to care for others? Oh, wow, that's amazing. Good thing that's in the Bible, huh? Because I don't think they teach that in churches anymore. We all have emotions and passions. But God has given us the tools to master those emotions. Oh, if only he'd given himself those tools, perhaps he too could be the master of his domain. Instead, we get a vengeful asshole of a God who literally tells us not to take vengeance because that's his f***ing job, goddammit. He wants to be the one to crush folks or turn them into a, a pillar of salt. I don't even know how to do that, so perhaps it is best to, to leave that to him. Well, that's all I can take for now. Hopefully, we'll be able to wrap things up in this next video. Maybe Johnny will tell us how the Bible teaches children to respect their elders and God's prophets. I think I might be better able to bear something like that. Until then, I'm me. Who wants to go against a giant like that? Thanks for watching.